are going to change out our final oil. Um, so in this, on this, we're working on a Caterpillar 303 mini excavator. And on this, we have a drain hole to check, basically access the check valve, you fill it to this hole, and then your fill hole is up here. So you fill it from here uh, until it reaches this here, and then that's how you know. You basically, you have to, this is half filled up to this, uh, this valve here. So we're gonna use a folder's coffee can uh, to get underneath here. And um, I've already cracked these loose. And so we're just gonna go ahead and all this fluid. That's not a good sign. We don't have any fluid. Really just checking to make sure there's no way it can be airlocked. Locked. This is not good. I always wonder how long has this been operating with no. We just took possession of this machine, so this is not a poor maintenance on our part. We haven't even put any hours on this machine. That's pretty unbelievable. Gonna, that's not good. We're going to put the drain plug in and we're going to fill it up. On this Caterpillar, we are using Mobile One API GL5. That's what Caterpillar calls for. It's a full synthetic. This is a 7590. I'm going to go get us a funnel. I'm going to wipe the funnel out with fresh paper towel. We're actually not going to use a funnel. We're going to use this tip. I'll have to use a Dremel to cut it because I don't have a pair of scissors with me. These take one quart of fluid. And what I'm wanting to do is kind of run some fresh fluid through it, drain and fill. Drain and fill, drain and fill. What I want to do is I want to kind of flush this out. And so we have most of a, it's mostly, we have most of it out. There's a slow trickle out of the bottom, but um, most of it is out. So what I want to do here, I'm going to put the bottom one back in. I'm going to put this back in. I'm going to just put some of this in until it comes out. Comes out that middle one. Okay, starting to come out. Put this back in. Hand snug this. I'm gonna put the top one back in. I'm gonna wipe this. I don't want to wipe too much when it's open because I don't want to get any debris in there. And then we're gonna open, crack the bottom one back up because, like I said, I want to flush this. Um, yes, we're wasting fluid. I get that, and I'm okay with that. I have no idea what this machine has been put through. A lot of things on it that I have found that would indicate to me that the machine was not very well maintained. And I want to flush as much as I can. So we're going to let that drain again, and then we'll fill it and leave it this next time. So I'm flushing it twice, flushing through twice. I put the drain plug back in. 
We've got new fluid. We're going to fill it up till it comes out of here, and then we're going to be done. It's not going to take a whole lot because I've already been filling it. There we go. We're going to tighten those down. Okay, so now we're going to put our top one in. Now we're good to go on that final. So you do the same exact thing on the other side. I'm not going to show the other side, but you do the same thing on the other side, and you'll be good to go. So I'd really recommend you use synthetic fluid. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move the machine because the other side's not lined up like this. We're going to do the other side, but that's all you got to do to change your uh, final drive gear oil in your mini excavator. Most excavators are the same way. Um, I'm sure there's some outliers that probably don't make that statement true, but overall. So make sure you like and subscribe. We'll continue bringing more videos of things we do on the farm. Thanks.